No vídeo de hoje, vamos embarcar em uma tour guiada em Telfelsberg, na Alemanha, uma montanha construída com os escombros da Segunda Guerra Mundial e que hoje é um grande museu de arte urbana. Nosso guia será o Peter, esse simpático amigo que nos recebeu e, até então, era o curador artístico do local. Ele nos contou um pouco da história do lugar, mostrou alguns trabalhos da parte exterior dos prédios e ainda disponibilizou um espaço para que o Pedro e o Tião também pudessem deixar suas pinturas. Infelizmente, devido ao furto dos nossos equipamentos e material gravado durante o projeto Contratempo, perdemos a entrevista completa que fizemos com o Peter, bem como as imagens do interior dos prédios e da torre, salvando apenas esse papo introdutório de reconhecimento do espaço que foi feito assim que chegamos por lá. Junte-se a nós nesse passeio guiado e venha conhecer um pouco de Telfelsberg. Do you receive a lot of people here? Yes, uh, usually uh, during the week there are about uh, four or five hundred, I think. And weekend, you know, like uh, in this weather, it may be eight hundred. And if you have some events like uh, like uh, in the Like, yeah, like the International Women's Day, then it's uh, 5,000 per day. Uh, it's it's different, mm -hmm. but but usually uh, under the week there are about four or five hundred people. And here, you see the the domes. The domes are where for the listening station inside. It's a uh, Redham Towers, and the Redham Towers are listening for. Uh, so national security in, in, in direction Moscow, uh, direction east, there uh, is yes, no, but uh, everybody knows they not only listen to Moscow or Warsaw, they also listen to Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, nobody can say uh, we, we only listen to east, uh, yeah, they listen also us, uh, uh -huh. they know everything, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, got it, but yes, yes, it's a secret service, yeah. yeah. And uh, after the fall of the wall, it was left. The American left uh, left the area and sold it uh, and, and sold it to uh, Berlin authorities. And they used it for the Berlin authorities used it for the civilian purpose, like uh, for flights, so like a, so, so flight, flight surveillance, only for civil flights. Mm -hmm. But uh, after. Uh, We had we had uh, three airports here in Berlin. After they closed two of them, they needn't anymore the flight surveillance, and several they, they, they sold it again to a private owner. And now it's all private. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, really? Ah yes, yeah, half open. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we can uh, after uh, after the after the surround we we make uh, take a seat here somewhere. Mm -hmm. For the interview, it's a lot of uh, a lot of this um, is um, not ready, not finished yet. You know, the area is too too large, and it you need too much money to mm, make yeah. everything in one time. Yeah, and so we we do it step by step. Yeah, and so long as step by step, you have time enough for a sweet art. Yeah, uh, and, and when when it's finished, uh, it's the whole the whole uh, area is uh, under protection. Yeah, like a monument monument protection, yeah. but not only the buildings are under protection, also the art is under protection. Nice, nice. And not a single no, not a single picture. Yeah, but the whole ensemble all all, okay. all of all okay. of the art is uh, is protected. Yeah. But what's the plan for this this place? Stay like uh, this artistic place, or yes. Uh, at the moment, the owner says it's 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 a good idea, and uh, he follows the idea. He, he wants not to change the idea because everything else, like to to build offices or or, or something mm -hmm. like this, is too expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, street art is the most uh, is more uh, save more money. Uh? Yeah, I think I, I understand that. It's a uh, uh, huge space. We can do a lot of here, but d you don't have to make any yes, modifications yes. to receive the street art, right? That's, yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah. I get it. But I think it's also nice because it's a uh, uh, a nice place, uh, incredible place actually to receive this art. Yes. At, 
the structure. Yes, and if you if you have uh, some like like this is Akut. Akut is one of the fam famous uh, artists in Germany. I will say in in, in Europe, and also is 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 known in uh, in North and South America also. And if you one of this artists here, here, here a lot of artists came and want to paint near mm -hmm. uh, Akut or near Hera Herakut or Dan Kitchener and and Nina Falco from, from from Amsterdam because they say oh uh, here is my friend and I want to paint near near my friend and yeah and it's it's a small scene sweet art you know mm -hmm. but um, it's a small scene knows each other. Everybody knows. Yeah. Uh, look, look, look. This one is from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Or this one, the, the Great Wall, is from Italy. It's an Italian, an Italian artist, mm -hmm. and also a small artist. And you see, it's, it's a lot of uh, a lot of things happening here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, this is not street art this is land art if you go up to the staircase you see it from above it's, it's, it's a sort of like a, a wizard a li lizard do you know lizard uh, like an, uh, a small crocodile or something. yeah got it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but you see it f from above from, from, uh -huh. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And we have also two two floors inside It's we call it gallery. It's inside two, uh, on two floors, and this, this is a, a mix of uh, the different styles in street art, like tape art, brush paint, spray paint, stencil, and and so on. Others we have all, and uh, and they are from all the world, uh, except uh, I think she's an artist from Poland. Uh, oh, the guy, yeah. Nice. Yes, and uh, street artists don't need to to have a clean wall. They paint and walls like this. So they don't need to, uh, like in a, in a normal gallery, in a gallery you, you don't see walls like this. Yeah. But here, street artists painting everywhere, and that makes it inter uh, interesting for visitors. Uh -huh. If you have a canvas on. A small canvas, it's, you know, it, it's canvas and it's a bit paint. Uh, yeah. But here it's it's different, uh -huh. different surfaces, different techniques, yeah. different colors, yeah. different uh, paintings. Like someone is spraying, the other one is rolling. Yeah. Uh, and there are also there are also walls. They're lasting very long, like this one mm -hmm. is Paolo Consentino, is from uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. and it's uh, I think 2014, eight, 10 years old. But it's, and it's still here. But, but you see, it's it's uh, now it's flaking and it needs to needs to be over over painted. Mm -hmm. But we can't do everything uh, at uh, uh, on one time because uh, we have no budget for. Yeah. for painting all uh -huh. and we don't want to paint it all because if you paint it all the, the visitors don't interesting because in, 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 when you, everything is the same in two years and three years so people say yeah we know it and therefore we, we do it step by step because we have always something new yeah. always to cover and and to uh, to conquer and to see new uh, new uh, impressions mm -hmm. and this is the best here you know you know what why this is what yeah Se sebastian no do we know what that's me <laughs> oh oh it's you oh <laughs> and, this is the best nice. this is the best i say oh no, yeah it's, it's, yeah I, 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 i'm i'm choking i'm choking <laughs> No, but very nice, man. No, it's, it's, it it's, was it was a birthday present because there um, were some friends from Amsterdam, from Basel in in, in the Schwitz, in Switzerland, a, a guy from America, and so made a collab. Yeah. And I sit here on a drink a beer because they were my friends, and I said, "Oh, we'll paint what you ever, whatever you want." And after some hours, I said, 
painted a lot. And they say, hey, I, I know this one, but who is this? And to paint after one hour more, I see, oh, it's, it's me. <laughs> uh, it was last year. Very last, nice, Last man. year I had the first thing. And, and now I'm looking every day, day and night to this, <laughs> to this, this girl. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have a nice view, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very new one. It's the newest. It's uh, from March, from the International Women's Day, the Tiger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Nina Falkov. Nina Falkov is, for, for example, uh, an, a Netherlands painter, a, a woman. And he, 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 they had an, um, a, a great event on um, on the Straat Museum. Do you know the Straat Museum? Straat Museum is one of the best museums in street art in in the world. As, yes, I can say in the world, uh, in the of the top uh, top quality painters. And two or three weeks ago, they had a big event. And uh, for a surprise, there were the Spanish king and the Netherlands king visiting an exhibition, and she was shaking hands, shake hands with the kings in Europe. Oh, that's mm -hmm. very, very uh, yeah, very nice. Those ones are kind of bigger and more impressive because you look, you know, yeah. they are all. But I, I, I show you then we have also small ones. Yeah. And a lot of people don't see the small stencils because they are only like a hand. But they're very interesting. Sometimes more interesting than a big wall. Mm -hmm, but but mm -hmm. uh, the people see uh, and, and they have always a camera and, and don't see the small the things. The small one, yeah. So, this is a Polish crew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Mexican artist. He made a, a, a quick a, a quick one. It's last month, a few hours. So Tiger, it's uh, some days, uh, one week. One week, so you know, it's, it's, of course, it's it does take more time to paint sure. a big wall than, than this one. It's, it's a question, uh, it depends on the details and on the colors. This one with Eminem. Yeah, Eminem yeah. Eminem is uh, stencil art. Yeah. You know stencil? Yeah, yeah, it's like a kind yeah. of... Uh, and it's made... Eminem is made from GPS Jamie Paul Scanlon. He's from uh, UK, but living in Germany because his wife is German from Würzburg. It's in the south of Germany. And, uh, yeah. And he has also some small ones I show you. Mm-hmm. And like in Germany, we have this, so, so green arrows, and this is a symbol for recycling. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and so it's, it's a Berlin beer, and so and so Berlin beer is crying because he's angry because everywhere is garbage, yeah. uh, and therefore he is crying uh -huh. because everybody knows the green arrows, but nobody takes care. Yeah, and everything is full of. Uh, trash, trash and, and, uh, and several he is very angry this beer and this one is made from a Japanese artist oh that, that and one Japanese and several has, they have a Japanese uh, hello, uh, hello hey 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 yes. I, I have forgotten to tell you uh -huh. your, your drinks are all, also free and you have paid it now I paid um uh, <laughs> I, I have forgotten. You, you, uh -huh. you okay. don't. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to pay for uh -huh. drinks. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, and yes, it's a Japanese dragon. It's a difference to the Chinese dragon. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't know what's the difference. Uh, only the Asians know it. Uh, and this is Marie Pavanelli with the Cola Bona from Berlin. Mm -hmm. One is, uh, this side to on the left side is South America, the other side is German. <laughs> yeah. And it's made of Cola. And it's, 
sadly the, the colors begin to flake yeah um, because they, they they had no primer and it's, it's not so good for the uh -huh. for for the, the colors but uh, it's an interesting color because uh, it's a different style of, but the same colors yeah and we have a lot of walls left mm -hmm. and we have a lot to do you see uh, some, something like this but the paintings here uh, started before they uh, sell the place or not uh, when they sell it when they sell it in, in, on private yes since, yeah since they started but it was always illegal illegal okay yes and, and since 2014 it begins to to uh, become uh, legal yeah 2014 yeah around but or everything was painted before it was illegal they climbed over the fences um, made yeah. made holes in the fence climbed yeah. over the fence yeah. day night when, when the police sometimes looked but they have walkie talkies and when the police came he said oh the police is coming um, get yeah, out yeah. Yeah, and, and when half an hour like me Half an hour after the police is gone, say people come again. Again. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and and finish their, their paintings. Yeah. yeah. But there are still remaining paintings from that uh, there are some yes, yes, there are some yeah. paintings over. But uh, most of them are overpainted because uh, the colors do not last uh, so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. This is an artist from uh, from Amsterdam. His Michel Feld mm -hmm. and his, his girlfriend and his girlfriend made his uh, counterpart on the right side yeah. and it's Rose, Rose Feld mm -hmm. nice, very nice the color is like you know uh, glowing her yeah. nice and this, this one uh, is uh, always a uh, famous in, in Europe, Emma MC, it's this girl with a, um, it made a, also a, a quick, uh, a quick uh, painting. Uh -huh. Usually they took up some days, but here she went, oh, I'm visiting uh, Berlin and some hours painted uh, in mm -hmm. some hours, so it's different. If you paint more details, you, it, it takes more time to paint. Yeah. So it says all uh, straight. So the wall is uh, Caro Pepe from Arg Argentina. Argentina. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I show you Guy. Guy made also a. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's Hera Good. It's worldwide uh, well known. You have to you have to cut the branches again because <laughs> you don't see all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we need to to cut them. Nice. I'll show him. <laughs> Is this the same bar that we passed through when we started, or not? It's another bar. Yes, yes, it's, it's the, the same. same. It's the same. But I want to show you the key. Yeah, sure, sure. Because sure, uh, yeah. I, I forget in the first. Time. No, totally. Yeah. Nice. It's big, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. One, one uh, of the biggest, and there are not a lot of artists painting on the surface because it's uh, the profile of the of this sheet is not um, is not smooth enough. 
but there are artists who don't, uh, don't care. And yeah. I paint. Uh, not everybody is able to paint it. Uh -huh. You know, inside the floor, there's always something small, uh, small pieces, uh -huh. but um, it's it's uh, under construction, uh, and there is nothing new. So the floors will be closed, and they may be a part of museum. And the museum is is uh, postponed since one year, but now we have uh, the green light. So must we go for building a museum and this will be the first part of this museum mm -hmm. and then it's closed for street art at first but it is on a museum it's a historic museum it's, and through the historic museum th uh, through the floor we came to the street art museum there are two museums inside, Only, inside there. yes uh, it's it planned uh, oh planned. planned okay yeah this is the first one is planned for the historic historic museum like uh, the second world war NSA listening station f cold war and so on and then we go through the floor upside and then begins uh, uh, the street art museum mm. and in this main in this main building this is a domes There are two floors, and the two floors with a lot of walls are also painted. Uh, but I, I don't know. They are interesting walls, but I, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of the walls are reserved and blocked for sure because uh, we may we may have the next uh, uh, event yeah and in June, July we have an event and there are a lot of walls uh, blocked like this yeah uh, it's it's the colors begin to flake and it's tagged and there will be paint over and, yeah. and then it's blocked yeah you're from Brazil or yeah we're from yeah. Brazil I'm from, uh, we are from Rio, actually. Oh. And we are recording like this documentary for the internet. Uh, we are traveling with like 13 artists, but they are almost uh, uh, imagery like tattoo artists. Yeah. But they are tattoo artists too, but they do graffiti too. They are oh. good, at, they are good painters, actually. Oh, okay. We want to come here, you know, talk uh, 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 just not only about tattoo, but about different kinds of art and different yeah. scenes yeah. this one and in, in the yeah so on below it's a place for for writers and graffiti mm -hmm. everybody can paint there yeah but uh, uh, they are beginning with a, a wall but it's finished next week yeah uh, and It's a special style for graffiti. Uh, yeah, yeah. So inside is, is a yard, and in this yard is a dance floor, and the dance floor for techno music. But there are pirates running it's, here? It's only, no, that, it's a techno, techno is always running on, on Saturday. Okay, but use it. It's normal red yes, You have yes, parties we, here. We, yes, we begin to to take. Uh, oh, to nice, place, uh, nice. It's a nice place for a party. Actually. And yes, yeah. And next, uh, in on the sixth, uh, sixth May, there's an artist uh, is designing, and uh, he's designing this, uh, this dance floor, with. Uh, I can show you. But you can uh, you can't see it because it's closed now. Mm -hmm. mm. This is from Spain, and he, he does uh, paintings in black light colors. Mm -hmm. and see, and like dripping. Yes, and, and, yeah. and by daylight it's okay, it's a normal colors, yeah. but by night they are glowing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like fluorescent. Like, like, oh, like neon? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. 
like this. Yeah. 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 And she is uh, here for designing for a new design from from the uh, dance floor. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it began uh, one month ago. It was the first. Uh, was the first party. Oh, so it's first kind of official. New first official party okay it, there were some parties but illegal uh -huh. <laughs> uh, like a techno race yeah or, yeah and but now we want to uh, to do it more professional yeah and, totally yeah. And, and more more legal yeah to avoid the problems as sure police sure yeah very nice i think this place has a lot of you know, potential. You can do whatever you want here. Yeah. Uh, especially yes, related. <clears throat> especially related uh, with culture and you know art. Um, people getting together. Oh, they, they are there. They are there. Huh? The guys. Oh, okay.